Good day, I am Kadet Makapilyar, your Mac Pilar. So now our topic was a topic of uh, coastal navigation. Let's talk about position determination and ship. But you focus on user's vision lines and position circle or the position on uh, of the ships at sea. The position line is a locus of all position possible positions of the vessel and correlation lens can be derived from terrestrial observation or it can be derived from celestial observation or electronic aids to navigation. In this presentation, we will examine how position lines are obtained from terrestrial. Let's start from position lines from terrestrial observation. So we start with the visual bearings and visual bearings can be obtained by using the gyro compass which gives us the true bearing and the ship's magnetic compass that gives us a compass bearing. So because the ship's magnetic compass is also influenced by the ship's structures. All right, uh, electronic means of uh, position fixing in probes use of the ship's radar and the uh, echo sounder so if we talk about visual bearings using the gyro compass bearings in this case for example you can see that the bearing of the lighthouse is obtained using the gyro compass in this case we can see the bearings about three four five degrees with the bearing of the lighthouse obtained as says three four five degrees we know that uh, we are somewhere along with the line of bearing looking towards the lighthouse uh, in the previous case uh, avoid making the mistake of putting the position line in the wrong direction let's uh, talk about transit bearing zone two objects are described as being observed in transit when they can be seen in a direct line and each other all right so for the next slide so here we talk about uh, the radar ranges and radar bearings from terrestrial observation using the radar so in this case the north up setting of the radar gives us a gyro stabilized and the relative ship setup gives a relative bearings so this is a very careful of whatever uh, whether you are getting uh, relative uh, bearings or true bearings because it depends on the setting of the radar that you put in then all right uh, so if we talk about so position line can also be obtained and drawn into a chart if you can determine the distance you are from the charted object so the distance can be determined by the radar as well as rising and ranges of lights then the vessel is somewhere on the position circle arc of the circle or the in terms of radar ranges on the radar so you can compare the what you would see on radar screen on the right side and your right side and well as you what you plot on your chart on your left side all right okay then next we talk about the line of soundings and in this line of soundings we talk about the depth contour so you can see the depth contours and charts are lines drawn joining places of equal depth uh, as you can see the 5 10 and 20 is a basically lines joining places of equal depth uh, navigator should be very aware using these uh, depth contours uh, as a means of position and determination sounding gives us useful indication on the general position of the vessel of the coast and proximity to hazard especially when when other charted coastal features are com uncommon so the depth uh, indicates on the chart is a uh, charted depth or the depth of water uh, chart datum and that given a, on the echo sounder on the distance between the transducer and sea bottom let's pursue uh, pro produ proceed to the example so here the uh, sounding obtained from the 3.7 best uh, 3.7 meters vessel will make an approach towards towards the shadow banks with the limited uh, charted features here uh, we are using the 5 meters depth contour as an indication of our general location and to obtain some form of a position line uh, 
uh, echo sounder indicates a sounding of 3.7 meters that uh, you can see that the, this 5 meters is the depth contours is started depth right and the 0 0.8 meters is the height of tides that you can obtain to the book tides tables then uh, the available uh, depth of wa water becomes 5.8 meters if you add the 5 meters and 0.8 meters let us let assume that the ship's drop is in this piece is about 2.1 meters that uh, would be the height of the water from the water level of the kill so in that case 5.8 minus uh, 2.1 will be 3.7 meters will be the under kill clearance so that the charted depth plus height of the tide from the tide tables that gives you the tide uh, total depth of the water and then subtract the draft or ship's draft from it uh, and you get the under kill clearance sounding that you would obtain from the echo sounder okay let's uh, assume as you see that you know you can get some kind of position line which will provide you with uh, some indication of where your ship is now all right then we talk about the simultaneous observation so simultaneous observation are obtaining position lines simul simultaneously so when several simultaneous uh, observation are made and the corresponding position line so that we determine our position by a fixing so position fix is the uh, in intersection of a minimum two or more position line derived at the same time so the two or the two is good uh, two or more will be pretty good so the symbol for a fix is a uh, in circle dot that you can see here this is a standard symbol and you should not use this for anything else on the chart fix must always be conveyed the time using the 24 hours clock as you saw um, uh, before as well as in terms of numbers of position lines now although you need to you need a minimum of two position lines for a fix you should always endeavor to obtain a third for a greater degree uh, all right so uh, along of course you may find many charted objects so to choose from for the purpose of position fixing wherever possible attempts to select a combination of these objects so we're talking about a fixed reliability here because uh, sometimes that we says uh, cock hat is caused by the identification errors or time delays or plotting errors as well as uh, instrument errors so that's why it's good to it's good idea for us to use more than two or three position lines uh, all right in such cases you make sure that you recheck and replot fix however if you keep getting cock hat so so here you can see there are three position lines from objects which are widely so when you take uh, two lines from objects which are widely located you can see in this case of the course they intersecting a very good angle that they are intersecting at the same point in this in that case you are fixed and this is a good and this is a reliable fixing and we call it is a good angle of cut uh, all right uh, so but sometimes when you get a cock hat not normally cock hat are resolved by finding the center of the triangle but in terms of coastal navigation you always resolve a cock hat by placing the vessel closest to the nearest navigation danger uh, navigation ranger then next as uh, you can see here that you can see that the cut sometimes sometimes becomes slower because if uh, of which this is called a bad angle of a cut and here the three position lines are not intersecting at the same point due to which they can be some fancy in position fixing in this case always place your vessel closest to the 
nearest ranger just make sure that uh, you recheck the position as quickly as possible especially when you are engaging on a coastal navigation keep rechecking position every five minutes or less are intervals to make sure that you are absolutely sure about the position of the vessel so i think that is for now for this discussion and i hope this video was useful for your knowledge thank you for listening and god bless keep safe always it is mac pillar again